What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Aha, uh -huh. back with another Sleepy Luca. Uh, and yeah, we're back with their 2002 album Lifelines. Uh, we're up to the next tune, which is called, is it Has Someone Approached You? Is that what it is? Uh, Did Anyone Approach You? Now, I have to say, the title made me laugh when I first see it. Um, it's not a question asked by someone who is in a calm, collected, um, and comfortable state. Um, it's someone who seems to be worrying that something that happens, some story, um, some incident, some event, um, the ramifications of which are uh, unspecified but potentially significant, um, they're inquiring the degree to which uh, whatever has happened, um, the information about which has spread. Because <clears throat> if you're asking, did someone approach you, you know, it's not something you ask unless you're worried about something or at least um, concerned that someone may be dragged into something that they're not directly related to. Um, so yeah, it made me laugh because I was thinking that if someone says no, then you're like, oh, you know what, forget I asked that, forget I ever said that. Um, so I wonder uh, what the context of this will be, but um, yeah, it, it might be not funny, you know, it might be a sort of, um, a darker sort of, um, thematic, um, angle. So, yeah, ultimately, I'm not sure what to make of it, but it is, again, the kind of question that is asked by someone who is worried about something happening that, you know, they do not have control over and, you know, information about which might be spreading. So, that's what it makes me think of. Let's find out. This is AHA. The tune is, Did Anyone Approach You? And it's from their 2002 album, Lifelines.
again, like the way I was thinking of the phrase, I think was actually off off the mark or running in the wrong direction, because <clears throat> it sounded like there were two things. Like there was one where the whispered or like spoken vocal was speaking about another person in sort of a critical way that like, oh, you always say this and you know, you're always like this and not in the kindest sort of assessment. And then the like sung vocals were like asking questions, but they were like all over the map and it wasn't in relation, it sounded like, um, at least not directly into the narrator, the idea, does someone approach you? Do they ask you a question about something about me? It didn't seem to be about that at all. It seemed to be more like, you know, when you went out into the world, you know, did did people feed you? Did they bleed you? Um, you know, did they did they approach you? Um, you know, basically, it seemed like there was a wide gamut of possibilities, and it was asking questions um, in relation to the other person's life, and not you know something related to them that had happened. But again, there's that phrase, you know, like something has happened. So it's like, you know, there seems to have been an incident, but again, I think it was running in a different way than I was thinking in advance. Do let me know um, what you think, either about the lyrics or the sonics. I really enjoyed that one. I know I say this like every other track, but that's like. That is an instant favorite. That's another one that, you know, instantly becomes a contender for my favorite on the album. Again, I love the electricity of the parts where it was really sort of like buoyant and uplifting. It had a sort of dancey vibe to it. It started kind of like with a bleepy, like chip tune um, kind of synth uh, element. And that, you know, it came back later. So I like the sort of reprise of the different sections. But going from that into the like fuller, again, sort of like buoyant and electric um, chorus, I believe, um, that was such a cool moment each time. It happened a couple times, and that was fantastic. So let me know if you agree. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Peace.